Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. If you have used AI image generators such as Stable Diffusion, DALI, or Midjourney, you may have noticed that a good prompt is crucial. In this video, we'll talk about how to write awesome Stable Diffusion prompts. Stable Diffusion is a popular AI art generator. With Stable Diffusion, you can generate great images. To create images exactly as you want them, you need to use specific and clear prompts. A new field, called Prompt Engineering, has emerged for the better work of recently developed AI models. Prompt engineering is a way to paint a picture with words, so it is very important to know the prompt structure for the models you will use. In this tutorial, I'll show you some tips and tricks about prompts for optimal results. Here are the topics we'll handle in this tutorial. First, we'll learn what the core prompt is. Next, we'll cover how to specify style. After that, we'll discuss how to use specific artists in the prompt. Next, we'll take a look at how to add the finishing touches, and then we'll learn how to weight the keywords. Lastly, we'll explore negative prompts. Before jumping into the video, for more content on AI, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment. Let's take a look at prompt elements. To generate images with stable diffusion, you can use the Hugging Face demo or Dream Studio. Alternatively, you can install this model on your computer. In this video, I'm going to use stable diffusion demo on Hugging Face. You can find the link to this page in the description below. Let's go here. Here we enter our prompts. Results will be displayed here. Let's scroll down the page. As you can see, there are several prompt examples. We can try one of these. For example, let's use this prompt, an insect robot preparing a delicious meal. To create an image according to this prompt, we need to press the create image button. Look at that, the process of creating images has begun. As you can see, four images were created. You can view these pictures one by clicking on them. We learned how to use this demo. Now let's see how to create a prompt step by step. The simplest way to describe the central theme in your prompt is to simply write an object. Let me start with a basic prompt. For example, let's write a cat. After that, press the generate image button. As you can see, images were created with cats in the center. How cute cats, aren't they? But what if you wanted cute yellow cats? Well, you need to specify that. Let's use cute yellow cat as your prompt instead. Now the model has returned all yellow cats. Beautiful. You can continue to add descriptions of what you want, including attaching accessories to the cats in the pictures. Let's try this. Let's say, cute yellow cat with green eyes, wearing a bow tie. It's done. As you can see, Stable Diffusion generated a cute yellow cat with green eyes, wearing a bow tie. You can also specify the style you want. Let's take a look at how to do this. Style is a very important part of the prompt. When the AI model fails to recognize a desired style, it usually defaults to the most common in the respective images. After the core prompt, choosing the most styles in a simple prompt will affect your final image. The most commonly used styles include realistic, oil painting, pencil drawing, concept art. There are several ways to invoke a style in your prompts. You can use one of the structures on the screen to add a style. Let's say we want some cute yellow cats, but we also want them to look like their oil painting. Cute yellow cat, oil painting. To get close to what you want, it's often best to start with the fewest keywords, and then add more to the aesthetic you're looking for. Stable Diffusion can do more than just render certain styles. You can ask the model to mimic certain artists. You can use the names of artists in your prompt to make your style more specific. For example, if you want a very abstract image, you can add simply Picasso. Here are lists of non-living artists that can be used. But by researching art history, you can also use the styles of different artists. If you want, you can get interesting images by using more than one artist's name. Let me show you. Cute Yellow Cat by Vincent Van Gogh and Thomas Moran. As you can see, great images were generated. The final touches on your prompt are the extra details. This makes the image look exactly the way you want it to. For example, in relatively simple prompts, you can add, trending on art station for a polished, artistic flair. Or you can use, Unreal Engine for more realistic lighting. You can add anything you want for a finishing touch. Here are some examples that work well. You can use one or more of these finishing touches. Let's add some of these to our prompt. Let's say, Cute Yellow Cat by Vincent Van Gogh and Thomas Moran, Highly Detailed, Dramatic Lighting. As you can see, more detailed images were generated. So far we've seen the key components that can be in a prompt. You can also specify which keyword the model should pay more or less attention to. Stable Diffusion supports the weighting of prompt keywords. Using prompt weighting, you can prompt the model to have more or less of certain elements. Let's consider our cute yellow cat prompt again. It was generating cute cats correctly, but not very many of the output images featured yellow cats. You could rewrite the prompt to read cute yellow cat 0.8 instead. 
and it would pay the most attention to the yellow cat, then automatically apply the difference to cute. For example, if you want finer control, like cute 0.10, yellow cat 0.80, Unreal Engine rendering, you can manually assign weights to each word in the prompt. Let's try it. Cute 0.10, yellow cat 0.80, Unreal Engine rendering. Note that decimal numbers are percentages, so their sum must be 1. If you want to make some limitations while creating an image, you can use the negative prompt. A weight of 1 is full strength. A weight of minus 1 is full negative strength. The negative prompt is a parameter. It tells stable diffusion what you don't want to see in the generated images. When you use it, it guides the generation process not to include things in the image according to a given text. For example, let's simply generate a landscape image. A beautiful beach at sunset, with clear blue water, and soft golden sand. As you can see, images of the beach were generated. What if you wanted to remove things like trees and a certain color like green? That's what you'd put in your negative prompt. Let's type trees and green in the negative prompt. As you can see, we removed trees and green from the images. With negative prompts, you can achieve much better results than with traditional prompts. That's it. In this video, we talked about prompt engineering and discussed how to write a good prompt. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. For more content on AI, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment. See you in the next video. Bye for now.